Hi CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet. Today we have these spider web um, wrist cuffs and they are so cool. So let me show you what they look like um, once you put them on to the cuff. And then I have these wonderful little things here. This one fits right over the middle finger. This one fits right over the pinky. And this one fits right over the thumb. And then you pull down to stretch out the web. And then how cool is that? When you're making one for your other hand, you need to invert the pinky, the middle, and the thumb. You need to turn it the other way because I made another one exactly like this one. And I was like, wait a minute, why isn't this doing right? Duh. So just make sure you do that. I just want to do that right at the beginning because it was a big mistake that I had made. But I am going to do another spider video and I'm going to link that in the description below. This is not going to be included in this video. So you're going to have to link to that if you want to put um, a spider on here, but I am going to show you how to put it on and I'm going to show you how to make the wrist cuff and the spider web. It'll just be, like I said, another video for the spider and um, that'll be right below, right under the timestamps and everything. It'll be the first video that you can click on and I'll also try to put it in the end screen and cards and all that good stuff. Okay. So let's get into our materials. So for these cuffs, I'm using a three weight yarn, not a four weight yarn. Of course you could use a four weight yarn, but I do wanna tell you your web's gonna be a little bit bulkier, okay? So to make it look exactly like the way I'm looking mine, it's looking the way mine does, it's important that you use the exact same materials. A lot of times I get comments from people who are like, mine doesn't look anything like yours, or how can I make it look like that, you know? So it's imperative that you use the same size hook and the same size yarn, unless you really don't care. And in that case, do it any way you want to. Oh, I'm using a four millimeter hook. I am using a pair of scissors and a darning needle. You will need that for this project. And I think that's about it, yeah. So let's get into the tutorial. Let's start on the cuff. And to do the cuff, what you're going to do is you're going to make a slip knot. You're going to chain 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, okay? And then you're going to do a half double crochet and each stitch all the way down. So into the second stitch, you're going to yarn over, go into that stitch and do a half double crochet. And you're gonna do that in each stitch all the way down. I do want to take a minute while we're working these half double crochets down to ask you to please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notify me bell below if you haven't already, and please share. That helps me more than anything. And if for any reason you're not familiar with the stitches we're using or you're very, very new to crochet, then I have a beginner crochet video below that can help you. Okay, so doing the half double crochets all the way down. By the time you get to the end, you will have 15 half double crochets. And that's because you went into the second chain from your hook. Okay, so we've just worked our last half double crochet. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work. And now you're going to be working into the back loop only. So you're going to be doing a half double crochet into the back loop. So to do that, you're going to yarn over. You're going to go right here into this first stitch, not the chain of one, but into this first stitch. And you're going to be working in this back loop. Pull up and do a half double crochet. Then go into the back loop of your next stitch. Pull up and do a half double crochet. And in the back loop of the next, half double crochet. So just keep doing that all the way down. And that is literally how simple this cuff is. It's just a repeat of that. And it really depends on your wrist size. Some people have very small wrists, some have bigger. You could be making this for a child. So it's important that you think of that. I will say I have kind of, as you can tell, larger hands for a woman. So I did about eight inches. I also did not want it to be tight. So eight inches in length, um, but you might need to go smaller or you might need to go larger depending on who you're making this for. 
So we're just gonna go all the way down here with these half double crochets. And then when you get to the end, sometimes it's hard to find your stitch. So I want you to turn your work on its side and you'll see that V there. A lot of times this looks like the stitch and it looks like you should work in there. But you actually, when you see the V right here, you can see you need to work into this stitch right here. And make a half double crochet. And that's working in the back loop is gonna give us these lovely ridges. So you would chain one, turn your work again and again, work half double crochets in the back loop all the way down. So you keep doing that until you get um, eight inches or you get the size that you need for you. And then we'll meet back up again and I'll show you how to close it and how to go on further. Okay, so we finished our eight inches here of the half double crochets in the back loop only. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna join this together to make our cuff, okay? So we're going to simply fold it this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right into my first stitch of this side. I'm gonna pull my yarn through and do a slip stitch. Then I can pull that tight. I'm gonna go into my next stitch and the next stitch on the next side, pull through and do a slip stitch. And again. And because we did the ridges, the um, half double crochet in the back loop only, when we go to turn this inside out, you're not going to be able to see this join. So again, we're just lining these up and slip stitching this together all the way down. And now we're going to turn this inside out. And do you see when we do that, because of the ridges, you can't tell there's a join at all, okay? So just real quick, I'm gonna show you before we go on any further, I'm just gonna pull this out and I'm just gonna slip it over my hand to make sure that it fits. Now I want you to chain one and we're going to do 37 single crochets all the way around. And you know, it's one of those things where there's not really, you see the little holes and stuff that you can work into, um, but they're not exactly stitches per se, okay? So, but we're gonna go into this first space and we're gonna put a single crochet and then we're gonna go into the, all I like to do is make sure that I'm pulling up on more than one stitch. So right here at the top or one piece of yarn, right up there, if I put a single crochet there, it's gonna tug on that and pull and you're gonna be able to see that hole. So what I would like to do is go down beneath it and pick up the other piece of yarn so that way it's more sturdy. But again, we're gonna count to 37 as we go around. So that was two, three, four, and 37. Okay, and right there you can see not the chain one, but where we did our first space, we're gonna slip stitch right into there. If you need to use a stitch marker for that, you can if it would make it easier. But right there, I'm just gonna slip stitch into my first stitch, and now I can cut over. Start the web, we're going to chain five, but we're gonna make a um, slip knot and then chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Then we're going to join the first stitch that we made to make a circle. And then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And that's gonna count as a double crochet and a chain two, okay? Then you're going to double crochet into the circle and you're going to chain two, and then you're going to double crochet into the circle. Then you're going to chain two and double crochet into the circle. And you want eight of these, okay? So again, chain two and double crochet into the circle. 
So you have one, two, three, four, five, including our beginning. So chain two, double crochet in the circle. That's our sixth. Chain two, double crochet in our circle. That's the seventh. And chain two, double crochet in the circle, and that's our eighth. And then don't forget to chain two again. And then you're going to slip stitch to the top of your chain of three. So we did the chain of five, so you're gonna count up to the third, one, two, three. And into this third stitch, you're going to make a slip stitch. And that is the middle of our web. Now, normally we would pull really tight on our circle, you know, to close it up. But in this case, you really don't wanna close it up. You wanna see a little circle there, so don't pull too tight. Now you're going to chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That counts as a double crochet and a chain of four, okay? So now you're going to double crochet into the top of the previous double crochet. So right here, you're going to double crochet right into there. Then you're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to double crochet into the top of this double crochet. Then you're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. And then you're going to double crochet in the top of this double crochet here. And then again, chain four and double crochet into the top of this one. And we're just gonna keep doing that all the way around. And then again, you're going to slip stitch to your third chain up, one, two, three. And now you're going to chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That counts as a double crochet and a chain of six. You're gonna go right on top of the next of the double crochet, the next double crochet, and work a double crochet. And then you're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then double crochet into the top of this previous double crochet. And then again, chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six and double crochet into the top of the next double crochet. And again, chain six, two, three, four, five, and six. And then double crochet into the top of that. And then join to the top of your chain of three here. One, two, three. And now you're going to chain 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. Now I just want to tell you right now when we're at this point, this will be our last row for our spider web for the palm of our hand. Now this is for the palm of my hand. So like I said, I have a large hand. If you wanted to make this smaller, if you wanted to make it even for a child, you could only do a few rows of these and stop there and then continue on with what I show you later. It's all up to you and how big you want this to be, okay? So we've chained 11 and we're going to, that counts as a double crochet and a chain of eight. So we're going to double crochet into the top of our next double crochet here. And then we're going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to double crochet into the top of our double crochet here. And again, chain eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. going to double crochet into the top of here and then I'm going to slip stitch to the top of this chain three right here okay. 
And now we're done with the spider web portion. So this would fit over my hand like so. And then we're going to make the little holes for the pinky, the middle finger, and the thumb. And then we're going to join this at the bottom, okay? So right here, we're right at the middle finger one that we need. So for the middle finger um, attach on, that needs to be a chain of 12. So, and again, this is to fit my finger, so you may have to adjust this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then I'm going to go right back in to the same spot there and work a slip stitch. Okay. And then after I make my slip stitch, I can cut off, leave enough to work in. We are going to need to work these ends in. Okay. Then I'm going to go, I'll show you a finished one right here. I'm gonna go right over to this next double crochet right here, going this way. And that's where I'm gonna place my pinky, the part for my pinky. Okay, so I'm gonna put my hook right onto the top of there and bring in my white yarn with a chain one. That chain one is not going to count towards my chain for my pinky. And then I want to chain nine. I'm sorry, chain ten for the pinky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we're going to go right back into the same space there that we brought in our yarn, do a slip stitch, and then cut off, leaving room to work that in. And then just pull through and pull tight. Now for the thumb, what we're gonna do is we're going to go down into the middle. We're going to skip one and two, go into the middle here. Place my hook right through there, bring my white yarn in again, chain one to hold. That doesn't count as part of our chain though. And then we're going to chain 14 for the thumb. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And then right back into the same spot, we're going to slip stitch to hold that together, cut off. And then pull through to close. Okay. So that's what that looks like. We've got the spider web, uh, the, pink, uh, the pinky, the middle finger, and the thumb. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work in all my ends, okay? And I'm just gonna show you how I do that for one of these because it may be a little bit confusing how to work in your ends with the spider web. But it's really the same as you do anything else. I'm gonna turn this over to the back side. I'm gonna go right through here. And I'm just going to work this in just like I would work in anything else. You just don't have a lot of space for it. So again, just the three times is a charm. And I'm just going to go all which ways and make sure that this stays in place. Okay. And then you can cut off. So go ahead and work your other ends in and I'll meet you back in just a minute. What we're gonna be doing is we're going to be working around these two pieces right here, okay? So I'm just going to put it right there where that double crochet is right underneath. It's gonna to go to the front part against that. And then we're gonna hold that there with a stick pin. Right about four over, one, two, three, four. Right into this place right here. We're going to bring in our white yarn with a chain one. And then we're going to start slip stitching over these right here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're gonna go into our this stitch right here, and then we're gonna go under this. And we're going to do one, two, 
three, and four slip stitches, holding that into place. And then we're gonna go through our next one, and we're going to go through, we can take the stick pin out, and then in our next stitch, we're going to actually go through the double crochet here, and then pull through and do a slip stitch. And in the next stitch, we're gonna go over this piece, four, one, two, three, and four, okay? And then that's what that looks like right there. We've got that all held place right there. And so now what you're going to do is you're just gonna slip stitch around now, okay? But what I'd like to do is do probably at least one more stitch here. So I'm just gonna do one more. Where I hold that on there, okay? And then we're going to do a slip stitch in each stitch all the way back around to where we first started, okay? So we're not gonna do it too tight. We're gonna do kind of a loose slip stitch around so that it doesn't make our cuff too tight. Okay, and so now we have finished our spider weft cuff. The only thing we need to do now is we need to put on our spider. And like I said, that'll be in another video, but I do wanna show you how to put this on, okay? So once you've watched the video and make your little spider, it's just going to face just like this. You can use a stick pen to find exactly where you want it to be. And so I want it right there. So I'm going to take my stick pen. And I'm going to go right through the middle of this and to the other side here. Hopefully I'm catching it. I caught some yarn. I just want it right there in the middle. You can point this spider head up or down, whichever way you want it will move, which looks really cool, okay? And so now all you're gonna do is you're gonna sew it to place, but you're gonna sew it into place just tacking it down. You don't wanna mess up your cuff too much. So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your black yarn on your darning needle, and you're gonna move that to the side here, and you're gonna go right under in the middle of the cuff, and you're just going to, and when I say tack, it means you're just gonna do a couple stitches to hold this in. So I'm gonna leave a little piece hanging um, in the middle there so I can tie that in, okay? And then I'm just gonna go right through the middle of the spider, and that's gonna hold that into place right there. And then I'm going to go to each leg and I'm gonna tack it down as well, unless you want them to just be kinda crazy they will be kind of going around everywhere. You can leave them like that as well. But I wanna tack them down to show you that. We're gonna go right over to this leg. I'm gonna make sure it's positioned exactly where I want it to be. And then I'm going to go right through a part of the leg there, go up and go back out, just making one stitch, just like that. And then the little leg will come up and then I would go to the next one and do the same thing, just making one little stitch there in the leg to hold it. Just like that. Just keep doing that all the way around and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, second. so I finished tacking all my legs on and I wanna just go ahead and try this on so I can show you the finished look. So we just slip it on through just like this. And then we put this on our thumb and we put this on our middle finger, just like you were putting on a ring. And then we put this one on our pinky and then we pull it down and voila, you have a beautiful spider web cuff. So cool looking, so much fun. As you can see, pretty easy to make. 
you could make a bunch of these. They're just absolutely gorgeous, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this. If you need any help or anything, don't hesitate to ask. You can um, find me obviously in the comments section below, but if you're not comfortable with that, I have a Gmail. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all of those places. And hey, why not come over there and follow me there? Okay, guys. So I'll see you soon. And also don't forget to look for the spider video. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.